what's up baytubers it's me Tristan um, and yeah well I got a new a couple of new stuff uh, first off I got a new stadium it's a really awesome stadium here um, where's my iPhone oh yeah um, comment below um, if my iPhone uh, case looks manly or not because you know it looks pretty sick so yeah anyways I'm um, back to the point of the video I got a new Beyblade yes of course I know it's fake um, uh, hung, TT Hongli over here. Well, Hongi is fake, um, so don't buy from them. It says Toy Set Rapidy, Rapidy or something. Um, so apparently, um, this comes with a um string launcher called a light launcher, and it's Ray Gill. It says 100 R RSF two times. It says attack, right spin. Yeah. Um, over here it's a fail because that's a gravity wheel. Yeah, that's a gravity wheel, and it looks really unprofessional. So first of all, um, I bought this Beyblade to show you guys on YouTube, um, to show you guys how bad fake Beyblades are. So don't dislike because of that. Like because I actually bought something for you guys. So anyways, um, we're gonna open it. Okay, um, here we got some really bad packaging. Um, what the fuck? Okay, uh, so it looks like I'm gonna open it. Here's a, a really bad sticker sheet. Yeah, it looks really weird. Um, uh, here's a tool. It's really unsturdy. Yeah, it feels really weird. Um, here's a... Um, I think this, this is an F, a flat. And, uh, it comes with two, uh, usually two, um, tracks. So here's a blue T125 and a blue uh, W105 and uh, well this is a fake bottom um, and it's a semi flat that's metal so I call it MSF or metal semi flat. Okay um, what else is in here? Oh wow it actually comes with the string launcher. It looks pretty nice. Maybe I'll actually use this. Huh. And Ray Gill. Oh shoot, I should have got tape. So Rage. Yeah, I still should have got tape. Oh, that hurt my fingers. Anyways, uh gonna open it up. Okay, uh let's see. Um it has a tattooed face, so that's pretty, uh, that thumbs up on, uh, you guys, the fake company. Yeah, um, here's a gill wheel. It looks pretty epic, but, oh, are you kidding me? No, they're not. There's a crack in it. Fail! There's a crack in the wheel already. Um, and a ray wheel. Yeah. It shows how bad this company is. So I'm gonna... Right, wait, wait, is that it? Wow, it doesn't even come with a 100 track. Let alone an RSF. I mean, come on. Uh, so I'll put on the wing attack for this thing. Oh my gosh. And this costs 5 bucks Canadian. So this is kind of rip-off. I mean, well... Um, yeah, so it sucks. Um, and I'll put a flat track on. So, um, yeah. Here's a fail Ray Gill. So, um, that's how bad these companies are. Um, but first off, um, good points about this thing. Um, the, all the pieces actually fit on it. Um, the things are much better quality than they look. Um, despite the busted, um, energy ring. Um, Feels pretty uh, heavy like usual, and yeah. Um, also, a big thumbs up on um, having extra parts, which Hasbro doesn't even do, and uh, Takara Tomi or Sano Kong, and it comes with a string launcher, all for five bucks. Oh wait, okay good, and uh, it comes with a sticker sheet. Yeah. Uh, so guys, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my unboxing so I'm gonna test this baby baby what, what the heck was that I'm gonna um, test this bay out um, on my uh, new epic stadium
Who the heck is this baby? Like, I'm such a Justin Bieber. Okay, um, so here's stadium. Looks pretty good um, for a fake stadium. Well, I assume it's fake. So I'm gonna rip it. Yeah, there's Ray Gill for you guys. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy this fake unboxing. Even though it's a fake, I just want to show you guys. So thumbs up the video, please. Um, and yeah, um, don't buy fakes because they suck. So yeah, thanks for watching.